My name is Becky, a senior developer from Catalon team, and welcome to my course, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for beginners. Please be noted that this course is not a tutorial for building a website, but rather preparing you with a basic foundation for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for more effective automated end-to-end -end testing. That being said, as this course progresses, we will go through the operating mechanism and the necessary components that allow a website to be formed. Statistics show that web applications have taken up to 80% of the software market. Hence, understanding how a web works is crucial, since HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are the core elements of any website. I will walk you through a big picture of how a web works, from when a user clicks on a web element to sending the response back in the server side. The structure of this course is as follows. We will first look at HTML, what it is and how it structures. Following that, you'd be able to understand how CSS supports in formatting everything on UI, such as assigning colors, alignment, or basically the whole layout of a website. Last but not least, JavaScript, a scripting or programming language that allows you to implement complex web applications and users to interact with your website. Every time a web page does more than just sit there and display static information for you to look at, displaying timely content updates, interactive maps, or animated 2D or 3D graphics. As I've mentioned before, this course is primarily made for those who seek to understand how the web works from the most basic level, ranging from people who have had a programming background to even non-ITs like project managers. In addition, especially for QAs and software development teams looking to move to web automation testing, understanding and being able to work well with web elements like input fields, buttons, or dialogue is very important and this could help you effectively execute automated tests and minimize their flakiness. Let's say you're using Selenium to design automated tests, particularly in clicking on a button. Then you have to have some foundation to ID, XPath, or in this example, CSS selector. Here, you'd find elements using the CSS selector. After the element has been found, Selenium will click on the interaction button by calling click command. Additionally, after the element has been spotted, Selenium's click command will click on the button for you. 